Hi, my name is Guy Staric. Being an Olympic shooter for the last three decades, I've mastered shooting with a surgical precision. In order to be a winner, you sure have to put a lot of effort and hard work training, but sometimes your equipment is just not good enough. So, after years of practice and research, I've developed the Starry Carbon Hue. Bell extension tubes are being used by small bore rifle shooters for more than 20 years. Today, most of the top competitive shooters are using one kind or another of bell extension tubes. First, let's talk about the advantages of the Starry Carbon Hue. We will start with the 25 mm collar which is much shorter than in any other tube. It means that the chalk of the bell will be right at the muzzle. The other feature is a tuner, which is actually a weight that I can move along the tube in order to achieve a positive compensation. There are two versions of tube. The long version is about 31 centimeters and the short version is about 19 centimeters. The tube length is calculated by the PRX formula based on odd harmonics. Taking in account bell length and diameter, so each tube is custom made by bell measurements. The tube weighs only 230 grams, which makes it comfortable to shoot for 3P and prone shooters. Usually, a faster bullet will hit higher on the target than a slower bullet. This leads to a vertical displacement on the target. Bring in mind that even with a good ammo, the variance in speed can be as much as 30 feet per second. This is a big deal. The variance of 30 feet per second will translate to about 7 mm height difference on a 50 meter target. Too much, way too much. As the bullet speeds through the bell, it creates a whipping effect, much like a sinus wave. Thus, a faster and a slower bullet will launch from the crown of the bell at a slightly different angle within that sinus wave form. In order to compensate for the variation in velocity, we need to verify that both slow and fast bullets will exit the bell on the upper slope of the cycle, so that slower rounds, which stay longer in the bell, will exit on a higher angle than a faster round, thus compensating for the difference in velocities and avoiding vertical dispersion. This is called positive compensation. The tuner is a weight which can be precisely positioned by steps changing the frequency of the sinus wave, which allows you to find the sweet spot of the tuner. In the next video, I'll explain how to measure your bell, install the tube, and calibrate for positive compensation. Thanks for watching.